Hey, this is Chuck from Monocoque Metalworks. It's a dreary afternoon in the neighborhood, but I'm hoping to brighten it up here in a few minutes in a big way. We have been working on getting this car ready to start. I'm ashamed to say it, but for two and a half years, I've been busy with a lot of stuff going on in my life. So I've just been picking away at it a little bit at a time. Um, I'm very excited. I'm a little nervous. I'm hoping for the best. This car has not run since sometime in 1971. And we bought the car in 2020. You can go back in the videos and see us pulling it out of the house. It was parked in the previous, well, in the original owner's house for 49 years when I came and got it. It has not run in 52 years. And our goal with this was to freshen it up and get it back to running condition without restoring it and by trying to keep as much of the originality as possible because this was an extremely original car and we have gone to great pains to do that and i think we've really succeeded i've done what i needed to do with the engine but um we've kept that originality and really been fanatical about it let me give you some quick background i think a lot of people are probably going to see this as the first video this is a 66 Series 1 E-Type Roadster. It was built in August of 66. It's originally a German export car. The original owner was in the service in the Air Force. He bought it in Germany and brought it home with him in 66. Drove it for 37,000 miles for five years. Parked it in his house in 1971. And that's where it was when I picked it up in 2020. We have gone through all the systems of the car that we needed to, to get it running again. Um, there's lots of videos showing that, but we've completely flushed out the cooling system while retaining the original radiator. We have, I took off the pan, cleaned that out, cleaned out the oil filter housing. There's, a, there's actually an add-on oil cleaner, clean that all out, put fresh oil in it, that's all good. We pulled the cam covers off, and turned it over by hand with the plugs out to make sure everything was good and that all worked out great and the engine looks beautiful inside. Rebuilt the distributor, we've checked the timing, we've cleaned out the fuel system, rebuilt the carburetors, all by the absolute minimum that we needed to. Not cleaning up bolts or anything, we cleaned things, but we didn't restore anything. All we've done is revive this car. And let me tell you, it took about 10 times longer than just ripping the stuff out and putting new on. So I'm getting a little chatty now. I'm very nervous about how this is going to go. We've got gas in it. We've checked it with a timing light. We are ready to push the button and see what happens. So let's do it. Okay, here's a video of the front end just so you can see the bonnet there. All right. Come around and show you the engine. Everything in here has been cleaned up and freshened up to the point where we need to start it. We did lose all of the original cooling hoses, which were on here, but I couldn't save them. I have them in a box. Um, but there's all the new cooling hoses. The header tank is a new old stock original. That was a great find. We've got that on there. The header tank was unsalvageable. And I actually restored one and did a great job on it, but then I found this. So we also uh, replaced the coil with a April 66 coil, which is just right. Bill had replaced the coil and there was that black standard coil on there. This has all been cleaned, but just with water and simple green wiped down. We rebuilt the carbs without removing them. So you can see the original gaskets there. And all of the hose clamps and every little nut bolt and screw went back exactly where it was. Everybody's excited about this startup here. Even this little guy. So, very nervous, but hoping for the best. Quick shot over on this side. 
did have to put in a new battery, but all the hold down hardware and those battery cables, all of that is original. We did have to pull the exhaust. That was a big, big job, but we restored the original exhaust and put it back on there. So there it is. I guess it's time. Now, when we start it up, it appears that you turn the uh, German steering column lock ignition to the ignition point, but then you do use the push button starter on the center dash. We figured that out. The starter works fine. So that's how we'll be doing it. The interior has all been cleaned and freshened up. Everything in the interior is original except for the front carpets. It didn't come with any front carpets. These are the original seats, original center console. This is the original tonneau cover, original door panels. And you can see how we freshened this all up without replacing it in previous episodes. Okay, this is it. Very nervous, but uh, let's give her hell here. All right, so I'm gonna reach over. Turn that ignition on. Turn this one on. Fuel pump's not doing anything because we're already pressurized. I'm gonna go ahead and choke it, which is what I would do on any other E-type. I'm gonna give it a little, it's not gonna do anything, but just for the hell of it. Make sure we're in neutral. Shocks in. Okay, here goes. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> it's gonna work. <laughs>
say, we've got a rattling up here, but I'm pretty sure it's the water pump. Let's see about that. Maybe I'll take the belt off and try it again later. Okay, <laughs> I've gotten control of myself. I'm still pretty excited. That was awesome. I am, a lot of work went into this, a lot of time. I don't know, there's something about this car with the, you know, keeping it just the way it was, just it feels so different than restoring one and starting it up. I, I feel like I'm going back in time by getting this thing running. And this, this was a lot of fun and I'm still having fun. On that note, there's some noise coming from the front of the engine. I did pull the fan belt off and just crank it up real quick. Didn't make a change. So I think we've got an issue with the timing chains. Um, already talked to my buddy Dan on the phone. He said, you know, just from the video, it sounds like upper timing chain. Um, and so we might be able to just tighten that up through the breather. We'll see. But she's running great. And uh, we will continue to just kind of work through the little issues one at a time, which is, you know, what we've been doing with the distributor and the gas and everything else. But she has come back to life after 52 years. And I got to tell you, I'm pretty proud of myself. Thanks for watching.